Coach in the Fight here. Just a little short discussion on the Passover date for 2020. Um, I recently posted my new moon report or my new moon forecast report. It has nothing to do with astrology. It's just astronomy where we're looking at when the new moon will fall so that we can determine when the new moon starts and so when the sabbath day starts we do that every month we don't really post one every month but we got the chance to post one this month and it was really important that we post this one this month because it appears as though the date that we have for passover was incorrect so you guys can check that video because it went into a lot of detail on how we use astronomical data in order to uh, determine the new moon. We also used a lot of information from the book of the luminaries coming out of the book of Enoch. I think it's chapter 72 through 70 or 74 or something like that um, so we spent a lot of that time in that video um, showing you how it is that we are supposed to be calculating our months um, and we spent so much time on it because well one we didn't have the US Naval Observatory to give us the information right up front and it appears as though the date that Google at least is giving for the Passover festival is starting on the wrong time. It's starting at the wrong time. It look, it appears as though the, if you go by, um, and Google ain't the only one. I have at least one calendar at the house that seems to give this date that seems to be at least one day behind. Um, so I felt like it was really important to to show you how the dates are supposed to be calculated, hoping that people would go in and, you know, try to do it on their own. You know, so people would go in and put their own eyes on it, try to make the determination themselves to see, you know, maybe I did something wrong. You know, I went through it several times, um, but, you know. And, you know, I could have made a mistake somewhere. So I posted that video up to show you how, um, I, I to show you how I made that determination and then so if you saw that you know I had you know an error somewhere you can point that out for me um, now I did get a little bit of response people trying to tell me that the day starts at sunrise which of course is what the Catholic churches teach and they try to tell me that it begins with the full moon which you know, I think it's some other pagan religion teaches, you know, it's not really biblical stuff. But like we said, in that video, we show what Enoch teaches. And, you know, so we go with the scripture over at Hermes Academy. We don't really care about the Catholic Church or, you know, what's convenient or any of that other stuff. But now there is one follow up that I did want to share with you guys. Um, and that's from a guy that does another new moon report. Um, I don't know his name. I closed the website where I downloaded his video from so I could bring him back home and look at it. Um, it. The title of the video was Sabbath Days for March 2020. In parentheses, it has Lunar Sabbath. If you, if you wanted to look, um, look that guy up. This is a guy that does the New Moon reports every month. And I'll, if it... it there was a lot of times a, a while back I was hoping that I can show him you know something he was doing in error as far as you know how he w was uh, calculating his Sabbath days he always gets the Sabbath day a day early and the reason why is because he starts his day at sunrise and so when he goes out in the evening time and views the new moon uh, that sliver of a moon in the evening time he says that the day has started that day and the new moon day has been going on all throughout the day and is about to become to an end right there as he sees the sliver of the moon now that's not biblical the Bible tells us that the day starts in the evening time I know it doesn't make common sense 
but you know nothing really in the Bible makes common sense if you expect something to make common sense from the Bible you're gonna end up on the wrong path a whole lot of the times I promise you that um, the day actually does start in the evening time and I can give you verse after verse that shows you that the days start in the evening time that's the transition day include um, and you know I, I may end up having to do yet another video on that because you know like I said it doesn't make common sense and people always want the Bible to follow their common sense so somebody's gonna challenge me on it I'm sure but that's not what this video is about but what we're talking about in this video is how I am starting to believe that Passover dates for 2020 are incorrect. The Passover dates for 2020 are incorrect. When you go to Google and at least one of the calendars that I have here in the house, it says that Passover starts on the evening of the 8th of April the evening of the 8th in April but then when you look at the lunar data um, it appears that it's actually supposed to be the evening of the 7th um, and so um, at least the evening of the 7th if not the evening of the 6th now um, pray for us Pray for clear skies because, you know, we want to be out there and put our eyes on the moon this, this month. We don't get to do it every month. But, you know, pray that when we go out this month and try to view the new moon that we have clear skies because it's extremely important that we get the Passover date right. And the only really way that you can know for sure is if you put your eyes on the moon for yourself or have a reliable source that you can go by now this guy here like I said he does it every month and I, I I would say he's pretty reliable as far as going out there and seeing the new moon every month how he ends up with clear skies every month I don't know he's in some other part of the world I don't know if he's in Africa or some desert place where they don't have clouds at, you know, but you know, a lot of times when we try to see the moon over here in, you know, east uh, in the southeast of America, we have cl uh, cloudy skies and we don't get to see it, but he gets to see it over there every month. And, you know, like I said, I would have liked to have gone by this guy's report. Um, I was when I found his his uh, channel there, I, I was hoping that I would be able to, you know, go by his report every month and get the information from him. But, you know, the problem with it is that the problem with the way he does his calculations is he starts his days in the daytime and it throws the Sabbath days off by one day. You see, for the month of March, he was celebrating it on Monday instead of Tuesday like we were. And that's because he had already started his day a half or a half a day early or 24 hours early with the sunrise. Again, that's Catholic doctrine. Um, you know, but a lot of people, you know, are under that misconception. Um, they don't really want to believe that the day starts in the evening time, like Genesis chapter one says, and the evening was the mo and the morning was the first day, and the all the other verses that talk about how the Sabbath day starts in the e how the Sabbath day started in the evening, and every day starts in the evening. They want to believe, you know, what the Catholics believe, and that's that it sun starts at sunrise. Man, the sun god worshippers want to believe that it starts at sunrise, and common sense tells you that it, you know, will start at sunrise. But the thing is, it don't really make perfect sense when you think about it, because you know, there's a lot of people that are asleep in at sunrise. You know, there's a lot of days when I'm asleep at sunrise. You know, even though I have woke up at four o'clock in the morning, I didn't turn back over and went back to sleep. You know, probably in the middle of saying my prayers, I didn't doze back off. And then when I wake up, the sun is bright in the sky. And many people, you know, are asleep at sunrise. But nobody, almost nobody in the world is asleep at sunset. Everybody is awake at sunset. When you when you really think about common sense, and I don't like to use common sense, but 
you know, because, you know, common sense is we, we learned our common sense in our public school systems. We learned our common sense in our judiciary systems and at our hospitals and our uh, churches. That's where we got most of our common sense. That's where most people get common sense from. And so that's why I don't really like to go by common sense. I like to go by what the scripture says. And the scripture says that the day starts in the evening time. But. Anyway, I guess I was just adding some fluff to this video or something <laughs> because what I want to show you in here is going to be really quick coming from this guy's channel talking about when the new moon is going to be for the month of March. Here, let me go ahead and play it for you. Simple, very easy to understand. Saturday is not the Sabbath and Sunday is not the Sabbath. Saturday is not the Sabbath and Sunday is not the Sabbath. The next four Sabbath will be on March the 2nd. 2nd of March 2020, 9th of March 2020, 16th of March 2020, and the last Sabbath of the month will be on the 23rd of March 2020, will be the last Sabbath of the month. The next day, the 25th and the, 20, the 24th and the 25th of March will be a new moon day. The next new moon days will be on the 24th and the 25th of March, we will have a two days new moon day. We are going to have a two days new moon day, just like you see in uh, in First First Samuel chapter twenty. Okay, so now he's predicting this that it's going to be, and he's probably he, he's definitely using some type of astronomical data. He's he, he's not guessing by any means. It's really easy to look up uh, solar and lunar tables to get this information, and that's that's what he's done, and that's what I did in my last video um, talking about the new moon report. Was I used digital information, and so but I wanted to show you guys. But what I wanted to show you guys was how he's coming up with the same thing that I came up with and that's that the new moon days are on the 25th now um, he has two days here 24th and 25th if you study the Enoch calendar you'll know that there are actually 360 days in a year every year has 360 days in it and but there are four additional days that are put in the four seasons and so because we're coming in the in spring that's what he's seeing here is that you have um uh, it's, it, 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 the new moon seems to appear twice but what's happening is you're getting that additional day that you get every season or if you go um, look at when we get ready to change into summertime you're going to seem to get two new moons back to back there too but that's on our side note we may do another video about that I know we've done one on the 364 days of the Enoch calendar but what I want to show you guys what I want to point out for you guys right here is how okay he says that there's two moon two new moon days the 24th and the 25th let's look at those and then let's see when the Passover should be using this calendar down here we have um, March the 24th and March the 25th falling on Tuesday and Wednesday. Now, like we like we like we made the determinant, like we talked about before in all of our videos, when you see the sliver of the moon on the 25th, that begins a new day. That begins a brand new day. That begins a brand new month right there at sundown from the evening to the morning is the first day of the first month. And so which will actually make the first full day, the worship day, the, the new moon day for those of you guys who do your new moon celebrations every month. You will be doing it on the 26th. If you view the new moon on the 25th. You won't be, you know, trying to have a new moon party right there after sunset between the time that, you know, you see the moon and the time you go to bed. You will be actually celebrating. You will have a whole day to celebrate that feast on the, um, the 26th. So that will be day one. All right. So if you start the count, 26 is day one. 27 is day two. 28 is day three day four, day five, day six, 
the first will be day seven Tuesday the second will be day eight day nine day ten the fifth will be day eleven the fifth of April will be day eleven day twelve day thirteen day fourteen okay that puts the day the full day of day 14 on Wednesday the 8th now gotta slow down a little bit here because people are like yep that's what my calendar says people then broke out their hard calendar they hardcover calendar and some have jumped over their own Google and they've looked and said and they've put in when is the Passover for 2020 if I had the internet right now I would I would have jumped over there and showed you when is the Passover for 2020? It will say April the 8th. But the thing is, you have to look at that little footnote on the bottom of your calendar. And you have to look at that footnote even at Google when it says that the feast days started in the evening time. The feast days started in the evening time. Okay? So, if you go by the 8th, being the date of Passover and you start in the evening time on day 8 you're actually going to miss it you was actually supposed to start the feast back here on the 14th day at evening which is actually falls off after the sun goes down on Tuesday the 7th the 14th day at even falls on Tuesday after the sun goes down okay I know that's a little bit confusing and I may have made it more confusion than it has to be the thing is the, the the calendars are saying the 8th and it starts on the evening of the 8th but it's actually supposed to start on the 7th the evening of the 7th you say well he did give us two days there March 24th and March 25th well we use the 25th date if we had to use the 24th date it would have put you starting on the evening of the 6th will give you the starting on the evening of the 6th which puts the calendars off by two days puts it off by two days so I wanted to share that with you guys that you know it's not only my calculations that are saying that Passover is wrong this guy over here that does this new moon report every month if you start on the 25th it's saying that Passover is supposed to start on the evening of the 7th, the evening of the 7th, the day of the 14th, the whole day of the 14th of the first month will be on day 8. That will be on day 8, but you're supposed to start your feast day, the day, the evening before. Just as an illustration, uh, you, you remember the story of the Messiah, how he had the Passover supper on the evening before, the night he was betrayed by Judas. But then it was the next day that they actually put him on the cross. He was crucified on Passover the next day. That's because the evening started the day. And then when they was putting him on the cross was ending the day. And if you remember the story, they had to hurry up and get him off the cross and put him in the tomb before the high holy day, which is unleavened bread, started on the next day. That's what's going to start on the evening of the 8th, unleavened bread starts on the evening of the 8th, but Passover starts on the evening of the 7th. All right, it's really important stuff, guys, really, really important. But again, pray for clear skies. Pray for those that are going out to try to see this moon to verify it for themselves. Pray that you will do it. Pray that you will go out there and try to verify it for yourself, too, because it's really important that we get these days right. It's, I believe it's okay if we was to do our Passover feast on the 6th, 7th, and 8th. I don't think the Father would have a problem with that with all of this confusion going on here. But I believe if we were to miss it, you know, bad things could happen. I don't know. And maybe the Father will see our heart. I don't know about that. I know man's heart is pretty evil. And so I don't like the idea of Father looking at man's heart. Because man's heart is pretty evil. And if he think we was just, you know, listening to the uh, Pope or listening to the Sanhedrin or listening to somebody else and let them confuse us and get us off on the wrong date we can actually find ourselves in trouble alright so just wanted to share that with you